What is going on over at Taco Bell? The Mexican pizza made its triumphant return, but now is sold out in most places across the country. How did this happen? I've got my own theories that I'll be sharing with you. Plus, this Taco Bell concept has been built and is now open. We'll take a look inside and linked information shows new items, returning items, and possibly a great new deal coming to Taco Bell later this month. Folks, today's video is produced in partnership with the Living Moss community, of which I am a member. Living Moss is the source for all things Taco Bell. You can find community links to the website, subreddit, and Discord in the description below. With that, let's get started and let's start with the Mexican pizza. As was last reported, the Mexican pizza did return to Taco Bells on a permanent basis. However, reports are now that it's sold out. I will say that it's not sold out everywhere. There are some locations in my area that still have it available, but it seems that either the majority of stores or at least a significant number of stores are indeed sold out. It's enough locations where Taco Bell has publicly put out an announcement that it is in fact sold out. They've also extended the free offer. So if you have not yet used the coupon for a free Mexican pizza that's available in the app, uh, that has been extended sort of indefinitely now. They've also postponed that musical that they'd planned. So yeah, it sounds pretty serious, but look, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This feels like it was planned. There's three main factors that I feel point to the Mexican pizza shortage being a sham. I'm gonna go over them with you. First, it's internal communication. So about a week after the Mexican pizza was re-released, there were starting to be rumblings that it might not be available for much longer. Only one more week, in fact, was the rumor that was going around. Well, it turns out Taco Bell had sent internal communications to their employees warning them that supplies were running out and that they may sell out within a week. In fact, a statement on Taco Bell's website reads, we communicated the news to our team members first to ensure they had all the information and support they'd need to continue serving our guests in the restaurants. That statement makes no sense. What exactly can an employee do if supplies run out? They, they can't do anything. The only thing that an employee can do with that information is leak it to customers. And of course, that's what they did. That's what got the rumors going around that the Mexican pizza was going to be selling out. And that, of course, drives up demand for the Mexican pizza as people are finding out about its scarcity. So that internal communication seems to me more like a well-planned leak. All right, so that's the first thing. Second is that musical. Taco Bell had been hyping up this musical, which was going to star Dolly Parton and Doja Cat, among others, and was going to debut on the Taco Bell TikTok account on May 27th. Now, when I first heard about this musical, I was pretty excited, but I had to do a double take on that date. See, the Mexican pizza officially returned to Taco Bell on May 19th, so I would have expected that this promotional musical would be released on the same day. That's typically how a promotion works. Instead, the musical was scheduled to debut a whole week later. That's an incredibly puzzling choice. Taco Bell ended up announcing that the musical has been postponed with the assumption being that it was postponed due to the Mexican pizza starting to run out. This, again, seems like a well-planned publicity stunt. By scheduling the musical to not debut on the same day that the Mexican pizza is released, it gives Taco Bell a period of time to sell through their supplies and then get a lot of free publicity when they announce that the show has been postponed. I can't think of any other reason that they would have scheduled the musical a week after the big release date. All right, now the third thing that smells fishy to me are the numbers that Taco Bell has been putting out. They put out a tweet saying that demand for the Mexican pizzas was seven times what they had expected. All right, now that seems pretty high because obviously they should have already been expecting high demand for the return 
of one of their most iconic items, right? You would, you would think that they would have been expecting to sell a lot. Well, according to Taco Bell's website, demand was actually only seven times greater than the last time Mexican pizzas were on the menu. All right, now that's a big difference because last time Mexican pizzas were on the menu, they were just a normal menu item. They, they weren't part of any kind of promotion or anything like that. It was just a normal item. So you can't just expect that when they're now bringing it back and there's a lot of hype around it, that the demand is gonna be equal to what it used to be when it was just a regular item. You gotta think that at least in those first few weeks, demand is gonna be a lot greater than normal. Seven times greater? Yeah, I think that that's reasonable when you consider all the pent up demand and that basically everybody with the Taco Bell app was given a coupon for a free Mexican pizza. So you gotta count on you know a lot of those free coupons being redeemed. And it's not like they just sold through their allotment for the first two weeks and they're gonna start selling them again on the third week. You know, they allegedly sold out of all of their supplies, which means that they sold through their allotment for week one, week two, week three, week four, However long Taco Bell stocks up in the future for ingredients, you know, they ran out of everything they're saying. So they either catastrophically underestimated the demand for Mexican pizzas, uh, in which case someone needs to be fired, or this was strategically planned the whole time. And I'd bet on that second option, especially when you consider how clever and detailed the promotion around the Mexican pizza return has been all year. And you might be saying, look, Brian, from a business perspective, that doesn't make sense. Why would Taco Bell plan to purposely run out and because they're losing money now that they're not able to sell Mexican pizzas? Well, I'd say that we know that it was a pretty big effort to get the supply chain ready to bring the Mexican pizzas back. They mentioned that at their annual conference last year. So maybe as they're going through and planning it, they say, well, we probably wouldn't be ready with enough supplies to bring back the Mexican pizza until July. Well, in that case, maybe they would release the Mexican pizza early in May so that they could sell some in May and June uh, and actually make some money instead of waiting till July and then not selling any Mexican pizzas in May or June. But then you might be saying, hey, but then you've got to spend money twice to promote the Mexican pizza's initial return and then promote it again. I would say no. Look, I didn't see any commercials or really any kind of advertising, paid advertising, around the Mexican pizza's initial return. If you guys saw some commercials or anything, uh, I didn't see anything. They got a lot of free publicity because of a lot of news articles were being printed about it, but I didn't see any paid advertising. So they didn't spend any money for the initial release, and now they've, they've rolled it back, and now when they release it again, they have that musical that they've already produced, and all they gotta do is you know hit the button on their TikTok account and boom, they've got that musical out there. The free publicity then from the news articles uh, around that musical start flowing in. But yeah, this is really next level marketing in my opinion and I love it. I think I've mentioned before, I've got sort of a background in business and advertising. So this all is very fascinating to me. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Taco Bell planned the Mexican pizza shortage or did they just get caught with their pants down? All right, next, Take a look at this concept art for a new type of Taco Bell location. This concept art came out about two years ago and now it's actually been built and is open in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. They call this type of store the Defy concept and it looks amazing. It looks just like the concept art. It's visually stunning, yet I think uh, we've got a ways to go before we start seeing these types of stores uh, you know, in more locations. Despite its visual appeal, I do see some drawbacks that I think need to be fixed. First of all, you look at the concept art and you think, all right, this looks like maybe it saves space. You know, maybe they can put these type of stores in locations where there's not enough space, you know, for a dining room and everything else. Uh, but looking at the actual restaurant, it actually looks like it's bigger than a normal Taco Bell. It looks like it takes up more space. It, it looks like the bottom floor is actually quite large. And, and despite it being drive through only, it still has a parking lot. I'm guessing the parking lot is for employees to park and maybe also for customers to park and eat their food. All right, and not only does it have parking spots in the front of the store, it's also got these parking spots in the back of the store. These ones are functional. They are designed for people to park and place their mobile orders, but they're still taking up space. Speaking of mobile orders, this location puts a big emphasis 
on serving mobile customers. The main advantage of this model is that it has four drive-through lanes. And so it's meant to serve a lot more people through drive-through than a, you know, a normal Taco Bell could. However, only one of the lanes is a traditional drive-through with a speaker. The other three lanes are mobile order only. Now, we may eventually get to a point where mobile drive-through orders outnumber traditional drive-through orders three to one. But I'd guess that right now, it's the opposite. I would bet that traditional drive-through orders outnumber mobile orders three to one, if not more. So really, this place should have three regular drive-through lanes and one mobile order lane. That's gonna be the biggest problem, I think, is that the general public, it just has not fully adopted mobile orders you know, at the same rate as they do a regular drive-through order. But beyond that, there's also some other quirky concepts with this place as well. See, despite it not having a dining room, it actually does have a lobby where customers can come inside and place a to-go order. It seems odd to me that they would put in a customer lobby and not put in at least one table or like a counter for someone to eat at. So in my opinion, uh, this new concept is cool, uh, but it's not necessarily practical and it has some quirks that need to be ironed out. I think if they could make that switch to having three drive through lanes and just one mobile order lane, um, and also get rid of the entire downstairs. I don't think you need that lobby. I don't think you need anything downstairs, uh, you know, just like a spiral staircase that goes up to the top. Those two things would make this type of store more practical and use less space. Do you agree? Let me know what you think about this new Taco Bell store design. All right, last but certainly not least, let's take a look at what Taco Bell has hitting menus later this month. They've got some new items and they're also bringing back an old one. June 23rd, Taco Bell will be bringing back the Cantina Crispy Chicken Tacos. This is interesting because these were just available a few months ago. From February to March of this year, they had these and now they're already bringing them back just a few months later. They're planned to also be exactly as they were before, coming in either Creamy Chipotle or Avocado Ranch. Now, debuting alongside them will be a new burrito that's kind of an inflation remix of an old burrito. The $2 cheesy double beef burrito is an upgraded version of the $1 cheesy double beef burrito. The $2 version has everything that the $1 version did, rice, nacho cheese, and a double portion of beef, but it adds tortilla strips, sour cream, and a three cheese blend. This is a type of inflation that I don't even think has a name, but we've already seen quite a bit this year, where they improve a product, but also raise the price. Little Caesars did this when they added more pepperoni to their pizzas, but raised the price at the same time. I don't really know what you call that. I, I, I'm gonna call it spinflation, because they're raising the price, but they're doing something else to spin it off as being a positive. When in reality, Taco Bell is taking more profit by charging an extra dollar and only adding shredded cheese, sour cream, and tortilla strips. All that aside, it sounds like this is gonna be a decent burrito. The three cheese blend especially is a welcome addition to any burrito or any item for that matter. Uh, and you know, inflation is a thing. There's really no way to avoid it at this point. I should mention that the $2 cheesy double beef burrito also comes in a spicy version, which is the same, but adds jalapenos. That's the one that I would be ordering. On top of those new burritos and the returning crispy chicken tacos, Taco Bell also has an exciting new freeze flavor. Actually two, they've got a mango freeze and a mango whip freeze. The whip freeze will be similar to the pineapple whip freeze from a while back. It's basically a freeze with vanilla creamer mixed in to give it a little bit of a creamy flavor and a cool visual effect. And in addition to all of that, the toasted cheddar chalupa, which is currently being offered, will be sticking around. It's not gonna be going away until August 18th. And there's a rumor that Taco Bell will introduce the Cravings Trio deal nationwide. Here's a leaked image that I've obtained, which shows a menu with the Cravings Trio. In case you're not familiar, the Cravings Trio is a combo that was tested out last year. The rumor is it will come with a large drink, plus the choice of any two, Burrito Supreme, Chalupa Supreme, Crunch Wrap Supreme or Cheese Quesadilla, all for $5. So for five bucks, you could get two Crunch Wraps and a large drink. 
That is a great deal, one that I'm very excited about. Um, and I'm also hearing that there may be a cheesy gordita crunch version. Uh, this one would have no choices. It would just come with two cheesy gordita crunches and a drink for $5. And that's the one that I would take. The cheesy gordita crunch is my favorite. I would love to be able to get two of those for five bucks. And then the, you know, the drink is just a bonus at that point. Again, the Cravings Trio is a rumor at this point. All of the other items coming June 23rd are confirmed by the great folks over at Living Moss. That is a lot of stuff that's going on over at Taco Bell. I'm Fast Food Brian, and hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to keep on rocking, thumbs up to help my cause, and leave a comment in the section down below. Right now, you can watch some more videos.